Hi, my name's Caitlin and I'm a visual communication and design major at UNK and I also do ceramics on the side. Today I'm going to take you through the process of throwing and stacking. Right now I'm wedging up my clay to get it ready to throw. I'm getting the wheel ready to put the clay onto, so I'm putting the bowl around it so the clay doesn't go everywhere, and then I'm putting the bat on it. Now that I have the clay on the wheel, I'm going to start centering it so we can create our form. Now that the clay is centered, I'm opening it up and making it taller. Now that each section of the form is made, I am scoring the edges so they are ready to stack on top of each other and create that taller looking form. Now I'm att attaching the two structures, the one piece to the bottom piece to make it taller. Now I'm putting it back on the wheel to smooth out the seam. This is the end of the throwing and stacking process. So after this, you go, you're gonna go ahead and let it sit for a few days to dry out and then it'll go in the kiln. And after the kiln, it's glazed and fired again. Okay, so this is the finished product after stacking each section. In that video, I was throwing each section. So then you go and you stack each section to get a bigger, taller pot. Um, so this is after it's been fired and glazed. 